Welcome back to Disco Elysium. This is Calypso. And we're going to continue. So I believe I was at the um, Fritas. It's a little supermarket. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or summon. Everything is out on the shelves. What that magazine she's reading? Um, I'm not interested. And it's obviously a supermarket. Let's proceed. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Do you have any ammonia? I need it because I saw a cadaver, or not a cadaver, a dead body hanging from a tree that's been rotting for seven days. And I retched really badly, even though... Um, I won't go into details, I just need ammonia. Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Did you know him? Seven days? Obviously, lynching and killing. I... Sense? We don't use sense here. Tar machine? Mmm, don't get it. Medicine. I don't have enough money. It's really too bad. Oh, cigarettes and alcohol. I mean, of course I have to check it out. It's on. It's one of my missions. There, in that dark green glass, a world of ruby, all in vain. The great flowering river of warmth. Wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. This is not a good place for a recovering addict. But we knew that. We knew that already. I am in heaven after all. Don't ask, don't look, don't do anything here. Just go away, get back to work. Volition was getting my wits together, yeah? One second. That was so loud. Okay. Back to work. Know this, you will never finish your alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. Well, I'm just too poor for that right now. Okay. What were my missions? I had quite a few. It was in the union box. I need to find my gun and badge because, because of course I forgot. 
Mm. I remember what I had to do. Gotta talk to my partner. Yes. Hmm. Am I not seven in Inland Empire? I am. Seven. Hmm. Oh, I see. Um... I guess I have to sit down with him to talk about that case. Let's go. What is this? Yes, right here. This one. After the initial inspection of the dead body is done. I did, didn't I? I look at the dead body. Oh no, I remember. I was forcefully trying to remember something, something really traumatic, and um, I fainted. I didn't get to finish looking at the dead body. Here's a boy who's really high on drugs. Don't wanna, don't wanna talk, do anything with him. Active decay. Okay, that's it. Yes. No, I already know everything about the case. Let's go collect info from the mess hall. Smoking in the kitchen? Sir? I don't want to talk about pots. The foreign men. Not much else to talk about. Touch it. Push it. Out of duty, we may find something. <laughs> Convinced him. Side investigation. Let's go ask him about it. Can I help you?
Do you know what's behind it? Some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. He's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know. Yeah, he doesn't just own one cafeteria, but three. He actually sounds like this, so I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over though, after the animals, and I haven't found the key, so good luck with that. They come in the evenings, so if I were to wait, I don't know, five hours, I'll be able to um, see them. That's all. Okay, seems like we have time to kill. The city is quite big, so plenty of places to go around. Dear RCM and Martinez, what can I help you with? RCM represents uh, police. Some questions, ma'am. What can I help you with? Um, oh yes, you may have ammonia, don't you? <gasps> Lovely. We need directions. What's in the east? Local politics? North? The pier, so shops and a bridge. Bridge is broken. Fishing village. Water, water everywhere, pouring from the heavens in the shadow of the old church. Fish market. Didn't she say that it was closed? Abandoned kind. But there's nothing to do there now, just drug addicts. And lastly, the West. Islands. In the West is the miracle. Well. Her gloves, if you, you get the feeling that you need them, you have a dead body to deal with. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure, keep them. Oh, she's so nice! She gave me everything I needed. Ammonia, gloves... The world is a better place because of people like her. Thank you, thank you. Equip them. West, was it? Let's see. It's raining. It's getting wet. Not interested in the bookstore, though. Two 
to a roundabout north. Capeside Apartments, Mark Mays Pier. Oh, right, I need to find a bag. Um, I need to collect some bottles and sell them. Because that's what detectives do in 51. Oh, I got a bag! <gasps> that means... I can finally equip my bag now and collect cans. Oh, yeah. Bottle. Come on, pass the thing. Oh, another bottle. Hmm. Bullet holes. Look close. Kim. Someone has been shot. What do you mean old? I'm not interested. Oh. What should I invest in? There are so many choices. Suggestion sounds fun. I'm gonna go full psychic. Continue. Nothing. Inside, a frame of a motorcycle in repair, and the tools. A thug. Paint. That's a girl? Knock. Knock again. This is the police. The police? Everyone <laughs> knows the police don't come round here. Normal police wearing yellow rubber gloves and a plastic bottle. I mean, bag holding bottles. I'm not joking. No, I already told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. She says more, so it means there has been plenty inside. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Back Madame, in. I assure you, we are real police officers. 
You know, I'm really irritated by the fact that Kim has an accent because it's it's said in the conversation beforehand that he was born here and raised here. Um, he's like quarter Soulite because his grandparents were Soul, were living in Seoul, but he didn't. So why does he have an accent? He said he doesn't speak a lick of Soulite. So. That's stereotyping right here. What a shame. What is this? Oh, magnesium. Striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. She extends her hand in greeting. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. She steps closer and holds out her hand over the railing. Just shake her hand. I'm glad to see you here. Her grip is tight and cold. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. <laughs> Amnesia? But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. <laughs> There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief even. The lieutenant is hatching some scheme. How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. Hmm. Tell me about Wild Pines. I want to know about the strike. What's your role? Senior Labor Negotiator. Grocery Club. Unions demands two wild pines and return with wild pines counteroffer. They're not going. Union stopped all negotiations a week ago. And lynching started happening. Two meters, 2.2 meters racist Hima locking the gates. Who? Giant covered in tattoos. Racist giant. Huh. Not such good progress. Oh, three weeks ago. I've been here for what? Three days? The strike began in December. She came in middle of February and she just told us that they started recently, right? 
Oh, I see. Some boring talk, but... However many strikes that happened... I'm not really interested. What's their demands, though? Every worker a member of the board. <laughs> Forget it. Pause. <laughs> of course not. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick vicious goo where you and I have blood. Say nothing. He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal or more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. <laughs> There's two of them? Yes, Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everett does, and when one's term as war man is up, the other takes over. What? Oh my god, that's not like having two Kim Jong-uns. It's how they circumvent the term limits. You see, with a funny little switcheroo, while in office they're embezzled god knows how much of their workers' dues. What about the union itself? Hmm. History lesson. Oh, a crime syndicate. Uh huh. A mob? It was once a perfectly normal institution, now a mob, TLDR. So we'll have to co cooperate with a mob, which is a union. In your opinion, detective, if I may ask, I'm a curious and talkative person, if you see. Would you say that the Union is... Basically a socialist mob? Wild Pines have cooperated with the crime syndicate for two decades. The huddled masses of Jamrock come to plea for work where the Union refuses to? That's all I need. Can I have some money? Why not? What luscious hair. A well-kept, yet tastefully short bob of dark hair. Despite the first hints of grey, she's elected to keep it on the trial, shaped into a permanent wave. Now look at you, you misery clad Simeon. Barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of booze precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. You're poor. Poor. You can't ask this person for money. You're too... Ashamed?
I should make my own goddamn money now. <laughs> Can I have some money? No! Ah, I haven't been having some good luck. Money. Lynching. The information about to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. How curious. Why is that, detective? So are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? I cannot admit to that. I cannot agree to that. Oh, that's just saying the truth. of it is saying yes. I can't lie. Why not? Well, I can joke about it. <laughs> See? She took it as a joke. I simply can't imagine what you'd gain by faking. Oh no, she, she doesn't. His technique may be very unconventional, but he is. Actually, I served for 18 years and solved over 200 cases, okay? She's a professional negotiator. Ah. Yes! Surely. There's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. It's a good thing I got the skill earlier. I'll be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. Like what? A hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret. The Union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. Oh ho! Profit, cash, money, cash. The Prophet has tried looking into the matter before. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Or... You can recover your badge, though if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. Detective, a word in private before we continue. How did you hope it would go? Um, really? I thought it was going so well. Sorry for putting us in this situation. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will, detective. Mm. 
You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Okay. Tell me about this drug trafficking. So someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revitcore with the Union, the mobs, blessings, wild pines has suspected it for years. Meth, GBL, and various synthetic psychedelics. No wonder one of the skills. Electrochemistry, go to party planet, love and be loved by drugs. Honestly, it might be quicker to say that you can't make from the stuff what you can't make. Uh huh. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. That's actually where my home is. That's what I'm trying to remember where my home is. Wild pies seem to be well appraised of the local drug trade. Do you mean to say that Union sells drugs too? They transport the ingredients for a cut. Lorries. In transit, they are vulnerable. Crucial shipment. Hmm. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Hmm, okay. I'll be explicit. Thank you, game. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Why didn't you come to us earlier? Oh. What proof do you have? Finance The plot thickens. So you think the strike is being funded with source ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of the very gate at night most likely, then loaded onto lorries and drug driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. Hmm, it sounds like she tried looking into it herself, but she's certainly not the type your typical lorry man would confide in. What other option do we have? The Jam Mystery. Oh, I love the name of that. Um, excellent. Okay, three lorry drivers. That's all. 